I am in this Google Sheets spreadsheet and I want to do equals today parentheses and that is going to put in today's date. The problem with that is is that is dynamic. So tomorrow this is going to say 1017 and the day after that it's going to say 1018. It's going to keep changing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single click here where it says equals today. I'm going to control C copy and then I'm going to control shift V. Control shift V is paste special. Now you notice that what this did is it changed it from a date into a weird number. So I'm going to come up here to the format and I'm going to come to number and I'm going to choose date and I'm going to reformat it as a date. So you see that that was several steps. Here's my other problem. Let's say that I want to put a date in for each day. So I'm going to want to insert a row above. I'm going to put equals today, parenthesis, parenthesis. That's today's date. I'm going to control C copy. I'm going to control shift V, which is actually paste special. Oh, look, it remembered the formatting, but I'm still going to come up here and do format, number, and date just to validate that that is the format that I want to do. Okay. So if I want that to happen automatically, that is too many steps and I don't want to do that every day. So what I am going to do is I'm going to record a macro. So I'm going to come up to the tools menu. I'm going to do tools, macros, I'm going to record a macro. Now what a recording a macro is going to do is record the steps that I follow and it's going to save those steps as code. So I don't have to code any of it, it's going to do the code for me. So I'm going to go ahead and record my macro, what I want to have happen every day. Every day I want to go to row one, I want to insert one row above. Now notice down here in the center it says it's recording a new macro, so I insert a row above and it says action one, I insert rows. Then under one I put equals today, parenthesis, parenthesis, and I push enter. So action two, I set a formula. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the um, control C, excuse me, control C copy, control shift V, I'm going to paste special. So you see that it says copy and paste, and I see that I have this funky formatting. And then I'm going to go to format, I'm going to go to number, I'm going to format this actually as a date. So we're going to do that automatically. There we go. Those are the steps that I want to have happen every day. I'm going to click save. Um, update the date, save. Now notice down here in the corner that it immediately says set script, edit script. So you can click on that, I'm going to do that. I'm going to edit the script and it's going to come back and it's going to show me all the code. This is the code for doing these actions and I didn't have to write any of that code. And you know what? Don't even look at it because it doesn't matter. What you're going to do is you're going to look over here on the side for triggers. I'm going to click on triggers and click add trigger. Triggers are actually really simple. So really you just need to know that you're looking for this little clock triggers icon and you're going to go ahead and add a trigger. So what this is going to do is allow things to automatically happen. So this is the macro update the date. That is the macro that I recorded. If you recorded multiple macros, you would choose from this list which macro you want to run. Now, I want my event source to be time driven. So I'm going to have this happen at a certain time. Now, if this Google Form was, is, if this Google Sheets was from a Google Form, you would have the option of on form submit. So you could have something automatically happen every time a form is submitted. In this case, though, I'm going to do time driven. And I don't want an hour timer, I want a day timer. So I'm gonna choose day timer. And so every day at 6 a.m., somewhere between 6 and 7 a.m., I want this to automatically run update the date. So I'm gonna sit save. And that is it. It is now going to automate that every day it's going to record those steps. Now, obviously, I don't want to wait until 6 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm going to come up here to the Tools menu. I'm going to go to Macros. Here is my macro. Every day at 6 a.m., it's going to do this. It's going to run this macro, insert a row, 
and that inserted date is going to be formatted just the way that I want it to. So I expect at 6 a.m. that I'm going to see the next date. There's going to be a third one of 1017 tomorrow morning right here in row one that it's going to insert that.